Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to another one of our Sunday schools this morning. Squeak and I thought that we would come and say hello to you. And I've been thinking about all the different things that we've been thinking about in Sunday school over the past few weeks, because we haven't been able to meet in church. Squeak, we haven't seen the boys and girls in so long. So we've been having Sunday school over the last number of weeks with lots of different people coming to share different stories from the Bible. So Squeak, I know that you haven't maybe seen all of them, isn't that right? Yeah, so I thought, boys and girls, I would maybe fill Squeak in just a little bit of what we've been doing about the last few weeks, okay? So you see, Squeak, over the last few weeks, we've been looking at a book in the Bible called Acts. And it started back when we thought about Jesus going back to heaven and how he sent the Holy Spirit to come and help all the people who believed in God to share the good news with other people. So God sent the Holy Spirit as like a helper. And you see, Squeak, over the past six weeks, we've been hearing lots of stories about other people in the Bible who needed the Holy Spirit's help. So we have heard, maybe you can remember boys and girls, we've heard about Peter. We have heard about Stephen. We have heard about Philip. All having sometimes difficult times, but the Holy Spirit has helped them to come and teach other people about Jesus and to share the good news. Because you see, Peter, and Stephen and Philip and all of God's followers, us as well, we cannot share God's word if we don't have some help from the Holy Spirit. We all need God's help to be able to be brave and be strong and to tell other people and to sometimes have the right words to say because sometimes it's tricky to have the right words to say. So that's what we've been doing. And you see, we've been learning as well that everything always works out the way God wants it to because you see God has everything under control nothing's too hard for God and nothing stops God's word being shared because God is in control so squeak you see when we become a Christian we become a follower of God we become part of God's family and today we're going to be thinking a bit about this, but we're not going to be looking at the book of Acts. We're going to go to a different book in the Bible called 1 Corinthians. And we are going to be thinking about how important it is for everybody in God's family to all work together. Yeah, because every single person in God's family is really important to God and to the work that God wants to do on the earth. And the way that the Bible wants us to, to think about it is like a body. I know, it sounds maybe a little bit strange, but boys and girls, it's something that we all have. We all have a body, so it kind of helps us to understand a little bit more about God's family. So let's for a minute think about our body and what it can do. So some of the things our body can do, let's think, okay, we can, maybe with our legs, we can run, can't we? So we can run really, really fast, maybe you've been in a race. Okay, you can jump, let's say you're jumping, maybe you can join us at home, boys and girls. Oh, I'm not very good at jumping. Okay, what else can we do? We can hear really well, maybe you can stop. Did you hear the bird? We can hear with our ears, can't we? Oh, what can we do with our mouth? We can taste all the yummy food, can't we? Chocolate, sweeties, lots of yummy things we can taste with our mouth. Okay, with our eyes. We can see everything. I wonder what you can see right now. I can see Squeak being a wee rascal. So boys and girls, we can do lots and lots of things with our body. But our eyes have a special job to do. Our ears have a special job to do. Our mouth has a special job to do. Our nose has a special job to do. All the parts of our body have special jobs. How about this question, boys and girls? Do you think you could see with your fingers? 
No, you couldn't see with your fingers. If I close my eyes and use my fingers, I can't see. What about, could I take a drink with my ears? No, we couldn't do that. We have to use our mouth if we want to drink. You see, we all, our parts of our body, have very special jobs to do. So let's have a look at the, what the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians about this. So we're going to watch something and it's going to help us to understand a little bit more. Okay, so let's watch. A person's body has more than one part. It has many parts. The food might say, I am not a hand, so I am not part of the body. But saying this would not stop the food from being a part of the body. The ear might say, I am not an eye, so I am not part of the body. But saying this would not make the ear stop being a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, the body would not be able to hear anything. If the whole body were an ear, the body would not be able to smell anything. If each part of the body were the same part, there would be no body. But truly God put the parts in the body as he wanted them. He made a place for each one of them and so there are many parts but only one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the foot, I don't need you. No, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are really very important. So you see Squeak, all of the parts of the body are kind of like all the people who are in God's family. So it's really, really, really important that each part does its job for the whole body to work, isn't it? Yeah. Even the parts, boys and girls, that we can't see, like our lungs that help us to breathe and our heart that beats inside that we cannot see, they're all really, really, really important. And you see, God tells us this story in the Bible. He helps us to understand that even if we think that people can't see us, or even if we think that we're too young, or we're not strong enough, or we're not big enough, God wants us to know that we are all really important in doing the job that he wants us to do on earth. So sometimes we can think, I'm not as good as that person over there. And sometimes we can think, I want to be loud and be able to talk like that person up at the front. I want to be like them. And sometimes we can think, I want to be just as funny as that person. But you see, God doesn't want us to be like our friends. God wants us to be us because he made us special for a reason. Because you see, God has a plan for each and every one of our lives. Just like the nose has a job, you have a job. Yeah, and if we didn't have the nose, if we didn't have you squeak, we wouldn't be able to do something. We need all the parts of the body, like all the people, to do their job. So God has given each of us abilities, gifts, and things we're good at that he can use and he wants us to use. So boys and girls, I want you to think when you're taking a big smell through your nose at lovely flowers or some yummy food mommy's put down for you for dinner, I want you to think about how special all of the parts of our body are and how we're all special too in God's family. Because you see, it says in the Bible that all of you together are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of the body. So we're all important. And we can thank God, and we're going to do that now. We can thank God that he has given us gifts and talents and that he calls us to be part of his, of his family, to help spread the word about Jesus and that he is always there to help us. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for listening and Squeak. You've been doing a good job listening too. <laughs> 
we are going to talk to God now. And you know what? Hopefully next week we'll actually be able to come to Sunday school in church and we might be able to see some of you there. So we won't be online next week, hopefully, and we might be able to see you there. So that'll be good. So now we're going to pray and we're going to thank God. Okay, boys and girls, so let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that we can become part of your family and that you see each and every one of us as really special part of your family, that each of us have a job to do and that we can be part of the body of Christ. Help us to be able to use the gifts and abilities that you've given us to spread your word with other people and to bless those that are around us. Help us to enjoy the rest of this week in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Squeak, shall we say goodbye? Bye.